Hi everyone, this is Sean Chua. Congrats on your O-level results such that you can go JC and do your A-levels. Now, for those taking H2 chemistry, this video is very important to you. Recently, I conducted a talk for a group of students and the parents and shared with them the pitfalls of complacency in JC1. Now, first of all, I want to share with you is that in J1, the curriculum is not 12 months, all right? It's actually only seven months from uh, mid-February where the school starts all the way to mid-September where you have promotional exams. So you only have seven months, a very short time frame for you to prepare for your promotional exams, all right? Now, and also in case you're not aware, all right? In J1, there's actually no revision at all by your school lecturers or teachers. Your lecturers will be pushing and rushing all right, the syllabus all the way up to the 11th hour and to the day before your promotional exams. And all revision will be on your own. So it's very important for students to start well, start early and be very consistent in their work from day one all the way to promotional exams because only you can save yourself, all right? You really have to be very, very focused. And second is this, um, I need to also be aware that A-level H2 chemistry, right, in terms of contents and concepts, are a lot, a lot more difficult than your O-level pure chemistry. Thousand more times more difficult, all right? Now, in all levels, in a short time frame, you can actually understand the concepts, all right, quite well, because concepts are quite easy, all right? And the questions are relatively doable once you know your concepts. So in, even in the short time frame, right, you can expect to do quite well for your O-level pure chemistry and improve uh, quite a fair bit, all right? But at this level, A-level H2 chemistry, uh, I am very honest to share and to tell you that that kind of miracle will not happen again. It's not like that at this level. Why? Because the contents are heavy, very heavy, the concepts are very, very tough, and the questions are highly application. Memorizing alone at this level does not allow you to solve any questions at all. All right, really nothing. You can't solve it by simply memorizing and regurgitating out your answers or your content. Now, so what you need to do is really to internalize every inch of your notes, all right, and understand it. Not to read and memorize, but it's to read, to sit down and to think and to really understand, all right, in order to do well at this level. Now, some of you are thinking of joining our G1 class much later, all right. Um, I have this to share with you um, and I have, I have to be very brutally honest. Now, last year, O-Level set for in a short time period when it came to me, I managed to beef up your concepts as well as the ability to apply. And you did pretty well for your O-Levels. Most of you improved leaps and bounds and you improved a few grades, all right? And I'm really very happy and proud of you. But if you want to do last minute work again at this level, all right? Uh, it might not be very possible. I, perhaps you're thinking that you test out your, uh, on your own first and try it out and when you're struggling for your H2 chemistry, I don't know when but probably I don't know, June, July period and then you come to me. Now I'll be very honest, in two to three months, there's nothing much I can do to help you to pass your promotional exams. Let us be very honest about it, okay? Now it's really important uh, for you to start early. Why? I share with you. Because uh, in J1, there's a cluster of topics and all topics are connected together to where? To the first four topics, whereby you learn the first one, um, more calculations and stoichiometry. Second, advanced atomic structure. Third, is your redox equation titration. Fourth, your advanced chemical bonding. Now, you probably heard these terms before on all levels, the topic names, right? But I share with you, they're totally different. The more calculations are 100 times uh, more difficult, probably 1,000 more uh, times more difficult than your O-level ones. Uh, most of the questions, in fact, I have teach my students strategies like mind map. Uh, I have teach them things like uh, flowcharts, uh, storytelling, analogies, in order for them to conceptualize and understand the questions in order to apply. And atomic structure and chem bonding is unlike O-levels anymore. Uh, you can actually throw away your set 4 textbook, they are redundant. Right now, the concepts are totally new. They are totally different. It's real in-depth. That, uh, that you really have to understand and really tough. And the questions are highly application once again, all right? So you know what? After these four topics, right, you have a lot more topics coming in J1 and J2. What happened is that the remaining J1 topics are interrelated into these four initial topics. Same like the J2 will be tagging onto these topics over here. So the first four is very important. And students, it's very important for you to start well, to start early and be very, very consistent. 
All right, let me warn you one more time. It's really important if you want to do JC H2 chemistry. So with that in mind, can I actually reverse uh, your, your thought process, okay? Uh, in terms of what you're thinking of. Now, instead of coming to me at the end, all right, when say uh, I'm left, you're left with two to three months before promotion exams and you want me to help you, which is to be frank at this level, such micro is quite difficult to achieve. So instead of doing that, why not you come in at the initial stage, all right? Join us right after Chinese New Year when our J1 class starts. Let me beef up your content, your concepts, and teach you how to apply of these four essential concepts or essential topics and have a very strong foundation of it, such that you can then handle topics that is behind them, all right? So uh, in three to four months after you start the class with us, then you can actually have uh, make two decision or either one decision. You can either choose to continue the class and uh, we help you to prep for your promotional exams or alternatively, you can actually withdraw after three to four months and work on your own because I know you're in safe hands. I've given you the hands. I've given you the concepts, the fundamentals so they can handle things on your own. And if occasionally you have some questions, you can still text me on WhatsApp or iMessage or even email me and I'll be able to help you. Why? because we have the fundamentals to communicate. If not, when you ask me questions, right, I will not be able to answer you because the fundamentals are weak, all right? So again, students, I want you to think about the approach, this approach, reverse it, come in first, and if you want, if you think you're good enough, withdraw later. Let me help with you with the fundamentals, all right? Now, our J1 class, again, starts after Chinese New Year. There are two classes. One is on Thursday, uh, the time is 7 to 9 p.m. Second one is on um, Saturday, that's 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Now, one of the class is filling up very, very fast. We're left with, like, I think, four or five seats. So do take action and uh, register online at winnerseducation.com. All right? And I look forward to seeing you at the class and we're going to work hard together. The keyword is we're going to work hard together. There's no miracle about that. All right? It's all about hard work and that's what I'm going to help you with. All right? Now, parents, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me ASAP, all right? It's time to take action. Now, if not, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to wish everyone a happy Lunar New Year and all the best and good luck. Bye-bye.